Hey everyone, welcome back to This Cozy Space. My name is Kendra, and for today's Vlogtober video, I have a thrift haul to share with you. I love a good thrift haul, and I've shared many in the past. I will link a few of them down below if you'd like to take a little peek at those. I have home decor items, I have a few holiday items, and at the very, very end, I'm gonna tag on some books, some home school books I picked up for my boys, a few puzzles and games. Just in case you're interested in seeing that kind of stuff, it'll be at the end. But let's jump into the Halloween items first, first. Step. I found this really cute little headband witch hat. You can buy these so many places and they're really not that expensive when you buy them new, but I just love the style of this one with the stars and it has so many cute little details. There's a little ruffle here with a little rhinestone around. These cute little, whatever they're called, I thought the feathers are really pretty. There's also a spider right here. Did I already say this was a dollar? It was only a dollar. So these are so fun if you're going trick or treating with your kids, you just put this on with like a Halloween shirt and that's your costume. Or they're really cute on big puppies for pictures. That's another way to use it. Or you could put it on a pumpkin or a skeleton in your house as a decoration. So many things you can do with these cute little hats. Also, they usually come off of the headband. So I've cut the, I've cut the headband off before put bobby pins and just use bobby pins to pin it on my head because it was a bit more comfortable and it's easier to pin on different items around your home if you put bobby pins on it. Little side tip. Okay, this next one I love so much. I think it's so cute. It's a jack-o'-lantern with these precious bells at the bottom. It's weird saying this because it's a wind chime but it feels like such good quality. I don't, I don't know but it's like so sturdy and heavy and I don't know. This was only a dollar, so I need to hang it from one of my trees in the front. Uh, soon, after I do this, I'm gonna hang it out in the front. Okay, my last Halloween item is this really cute old haunted house. I know these type of things are not for everybody. They're really cheesy, but I love this stuff. This was only $2, and I love that the little sticker up here, they wrote that it works. I would have bought it even if it didn't work, but um, the little window has cut, cut out through it, so the light, whenever I plug it in and turn it on, there will be light shining through this window, as well as the jack-o'-lantern face. There's a window in the back, and I love the witch on the moon. Can you see her? There she is. And the face on the bat, as well as the creepy face on the cat. I just love these things. This is gonna go in my boys' room. I have been able to score several items like this, this thrifting season, like around uh, October and September. They're all over the house, so I'm hoping to get a Halloween house tour up this month, at the tail end of the month, obviously, for Halloween. If I can't get it done, I'm sorry in advance. I'm gonna try my best, and I will kind of point out some of the thrift finds that I've picked up whenever we're doing the tour. But they're kind of like the same style, like the old pottery, looks like it's hand-painted. Okay, that's all I have for Halloween stuff. Up next, I have one teeny tiny Christmas item, but it's so cute. This old boot. I love picking up little stuff like this. You could put it on a tray. They sit really nicely on a bookshelf. You could put it with like several other things in like a little grouping. They're small. They don't take up a ton of space for storage. This was a dollar. I think it should have been more like 25 cents to 50 cents, but I went ahead and picked it up anyways. It's in great shape. There's no chips or anything on it. And I love the way it looks. That's all I have as far as holiday decor. We're gonna move on to the home stuff now. Um, oh wait, 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 wait. I do have a couple more things that kind of fall in the like fallish category. I picked up a couple pillows. These pillows, y'all, I was on the fence about them, but they're so pretty and unique. I've never seen anything like these before. They're velvet and I loved the paisley print. It's very busy though, but obviously they'd be great for um, autumn or Halloween decor. And this one was $4. I picked up its sister for $4. So $8 for the two pillows. One of the tips I talk about on my channel very often is when you're buying pillows like this, don't just look at the pillow, look at the guts of the pillow. So when you open it up, if you're able to zip it, look inside, make sure it's all clean in there and look at the insert. It's a really great, great way to buy inserts for a fraction of the cost of what you would buy if you were buying a set of them from Amazon. This is a really nice feather insert and I got it for $4. So if I decide I don't like this pillow cover, I've got the insert, I can put something else over it, easy peasy. But once I got it in my car and I was thinking about it, 
I think these would be really cute on my back patio. We have a covered patio, so it doesn't really get a lot of um, rain fall on it. And we have some black iron chairs that we sit on back there, and I think these would be so cute once I get the patio with like pumpkins and mums and stuff. So we'll see where they end up, and if I end up putting them on the patio, I will, I will share later on. Oh, my house is falling over. Okay. All right, now we're officially done with holiday stuff, I'm pretty sure. Next up, I have this really pretty pottery piece. Isn't that beautiful? I Perhaps pottery is not the right word to use for this, but it actually it looks more like an old piece of china. I don't, I don't know, the, and I can't really make the brand name out. I'll hold it up just in case anybody's watching and they, they know what that means. I don't know. This was $2. I loved the crackle effect in it. Again, I know that's not the proper term for that. And I loved this green with this little pattern. This would be great hanging on a wall. I'll probably use it more as like a tray um, for $2. I just couldn't, it's so pretty. I had to grab it. So I got that. All right. We, oh, I have this random thing. Let me share this. It's very random, but I'll share it anyways. This is a flannel I picked up for my oldest. It was $3. We love thrifting for flannels. You can sometimes find really great brands for a good price. Um, he loves wearing just like a tee or a long sleeve tee basic with jeans and a flannel over it. It's really good for layering and they can take it on and off if they get hot or whatever. So that's what he literally said is his thing. He said flannels over tees are like my thing. So he's been asking for me to thrift him some. Out here in our new state, they've been kind of spendy, so I haven't bought a ton. So I was excited to find this one for three bucks. All right, are you ready for the two things I'm the most excited about? <laughs> okay, let me see if you can see this. Behind me on my couch, I have that really pretty quilt. That was thrifted. Um, upstairs, I have a chest in my room. It's like an armoire with shelves in it. And I have on the shelf, I have a bunch of quilts folded and stacked up on each other. Those were all thrifted. Quilts are very hard to find in good shape and they are so very expensive. I cannot believe what I found. Are you gonna be as excited about it as I am? I don't know, maybe you'll hate it, but I love it. Oh, the colors, the colors are perfection. Whenever I'm looking for quilts, I always look for colors that actually complement my home. You can find mini quilts, but they're often either pastels or very bright kind of um, blues and not blue like the one I just showed you, but they're like brighter colors. Sometimes they're made for kids and you don't often find these like warm muted colors. They're very hard to find. Um, and when you do find them, they're very expensive. They're very expensive. So m most of my quilts have holes in them or they're messed up in some way because <laughs> Uh, they're expensive and it's hard to find, I keep looking back at my quilt. It's hard to find muted colors like this that aren't like an arm and a leg. So this one actually has a rip over here and I just move it around. It gets draped over different things in the house. Sometimes it's folded up in my quilt shelf, but I had it out for summer. I really like it, but I was really hoping to find something with the warmer tones for winter and fall or fall and winter. When I found this, I grabbed it like so quickly and threw it in my arms and carried it like it's huge. Carried it in my arms all around the thrift store with all the other things that I found. The colors are so perfect and I love, love the print. So I think what I'll do at the very, very end of the video after we've looked at the books and the games together, I will do a little B-roll of this so that you can see how pretty it is. It has the scallop detail on the edge and one of my other favorite things about it the flip side. It's so pretty. Beautiful, warm burgundy with golds, a little bit of brown. It's a tiny little rose print. So pretty. This is in great shape. I think it was a queen. No, even better y'all. It's a king. It's a king. Okay. This is a bit more expensive. Now remind, let me remind you, like I said, quilts are spendy hundred dollars or more for, for ones that are in great shape that don't have holes or staining on it. I got this king size beautiful quilt for $22. That is a steal. Oh, so excited. So my plan is to remove this blue one and I'm going to place this one where the blue one is. And I think, look at how good it's going to look with plaids for Christmas. It's just going to complement plaid colors so beautifully. Hold on, I have another 
plaid shirt over here from I just recorded a Walmart haul a second ago so if you haven't watched that go check back that should already be up but just look oh it's gonna be so pretty anyway all right I'll show you that in more detail at the very very end of the video it's huge then along the same lines of that it was in that same store and I found something I've been looking for for years I feel so grateful to, sometimes I find stuff like this in thrift stores and I just feel so incredibly grateful to own it. Again, I'll have to show you a more close up detail of this at the very end. So if you want to see the pattern, stay tuned to the end and I'll show it to you a bit more. This is absolutely stunning. I've never seen anything like it. This is like one of those blankets I would only dream that I could find. I've been looking for this same style, but I, I've only seen it with the white. I've never seen it with this pretty blue. And it's in perfect condition, and it has beautiful work all over it. Um, and then a beautiful fringing at the bottom. And this is also a king and it was a bit more expensive, but if I was to buy this king size in any department, it would be several hundred dollars. If I was to buy this king size uh, blanket like this, even uh, like this style, which is a hard, I don't know what this is called, but it's a hard like type of design, whatever it is to find. And if I was to find this at like an antique store, it would probably be just as expensive. And I got it for $45. Again, I know it's not cheap, but considering what it is and how unique it is and what great shape it's in and that it's a king, I think $45 is a really great price. So this is going to go in a cabinet for now and I'm gonna pull it back out in the spring and summer and it will go over the top of our bed in our master bedroom. <sighs> okay, oh wait, I have one other thing I wanted to share. It's already put up behind me. So right behind me, can you see that lamp? That is a new find as well. She was $10 at a thrift store. It came with the, uh, with the lampshade. I recently put that there. Let me see if I can show you. Do you like how I'm just taking you all around? Do you see that white lampshade over in the corner? That lamp was over where this new one is that I shared. I love that lamp, but the movers broke it during the move, so it's leaning. And at the base of it, I put a bunch of books to kind of prop it up so it looked like it was straight. But you could see the books, and it was really tacky. So I'd been on the look for something that I loved on Facebook Marketplace, and I just haven't found a vintage piece yet that I wanted as much as I loved the other one. And then I found her for $10. And... Let me give you a good look. She's so cute. I love the wood with the gold. So, so cute. All right, now I need to get ready to show you all the book stuff. So give me just a second. I'll get everything set up. I'll show you the books and then I'll give you a close peek at the blankets in a, uh, a second after that. Mm -hmm. 